Good afternoon. Welcome to Inspect Flicks. I'm John Fergeris, and in this video, we're going to talk about flat roof material, um, the type of material, and how it's used, when to use it, and its failures. I'm at a house that was built in the 1960s, very common on the contemporary styles of roofs that uh, has an option of using a shingle, but they chose to go to uh, flat roof material, which is rubberized membrane. So let me take you around and show you what I'm referring to. So what you're looking at is literally a rubber mat, and it lays down and it's adhered on the seams and around the perimeter at the drip edge area. Um, this rubberized membrane will last 20 years and sometimes greater is the average life expectancies. Um, it is uh, considered one of the Cadillacs of flat roof materials versus a 90 pound mineral roll uh, or a built up flat roof uh, or pea gravel which you rarely see anymore today. So, uh, And patching around areas that come through the roof can be a little tricky so the electrical service uh, some of the plumbing stacks um, and uh, at the seams uh, which is where you can get uh, blistering and that sort of thing so um, the house roof itself it's roughly about 20 years or, or plus um, on the age condition and you've got a slope and a pitch to it which is good it's it's got a 312 at least on this here to where you could have used shingles but um, the greater the roof slope the better your life expectancies and the lower it is um, your life expectancy accumulates a lot quicker. And I'm going to show you the difference on this particular rubberized membrane. So the house roof looks really good. You've got a little bit of the blistering on the seams here, but no damage. So as we go down towards the garage roof, you're going to start to see some more um, of the indications of aging and deterioration. So right here at the edge, uh, like I mentioned, this is a uh, um, blueberry blistering and you can see how the air just bubbles right up into the um, the chamber there and then also this is uh, the seams are starting to come apart on the outside here this is the fascia or the drip edge uh, so it's it's primarily a drip edge um, but because of the size you can almost refer to it as a, a fascia so here you can start to see where the seams are coming open and the blistering once again and then as you come down here you'll start to see where it's pulling away. So with the expansion and contraction of the, the heat uh, from the black roof, this drip edge is starting to pull away. And you can see how it's lifting on these seams. And without maintaining this, this will all have to be cut out and then they can seam it back together. And literally, because it's rubber, it's just like on the inner tube of a tire. So let's go down and I'm gonna show you what can happen if you do not maintain this. The edging over here on the west side, because the sun is going down right now, uh, you'll see that this whole area here is now rotted out on the sheathing. And I want to be very careful about walking on this edge, but you can see how it's deteriorated. So let's pause this a second, and I'm going to take you down below uh, under grade on the grade level and show you the roof sheathing. Okay, we're down below now, and you can see how it's more of a flat roof. And again, when it retains snow, rain, and debris, it's going to age a lot quicker. So this is the edge on the west side, like I had mentioned. And um, as we get closer, you're going to start to see uh, you're missing rafter tails, uh, which is the structural member that goes from the fascia to the actual structure of the house. And then the underside of the roofing material, which is referred as the sheathing, uh, but in this case, uh, the old school method on this 1960s is they used plank boards. Uh, but here somebody tried to correct it with plywood, and now you can see how much dry rot has occurred on the underside here. Um, so if you're not comfortable getting on a roof, I don't recommend anybody getting on a roof, but at least having it checked periodically so you can see the condition uh, of your seams and making sure that they're sealed up. Even if uh, somebody used a drone, uh, it would be recommended to periodically check that. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.